right, man. Torture Talk. You know what it is, man. We back, baby. <clears throat> Up in here. Gotta let the kids. Gotta let the kids. Gotta let the kids scream, man. You know they screaming. <clears throat> All right. So look. <clears throat> Today, we're going to be talking about Kendrick Lamar. He just responded to Drake. And um, I'm trying to bang out these episodes because a lot of news are happening fast. I still got the Squabble Up uh, reaction video coming. Um, and there's a couple other videos. And then I also still got the 12 o'clock, the 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 6 o'clock show coming for tomorrow. So make sure y'all be in here for that. Um, yeah. Uh, so Kendrick responded to Drake on uh, what Drake said on his live stream. And then we're going to get into that. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get the legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your descriptions today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. Cash app. No more PayPal is in the description. It called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000. And yeah, king of the north. Let me know where you're from, too. I appreciate it. I seen somebody from Detroit. Said they was from Detroit. Love you too. I seen that. You know what I mean? The heart emoji. So we're going to get into it, man. And we'll be back to discuss. All right, this comes courtesy of Chink Smooth. You know what it is. Let's go. Get too, bro. Hey, man, y'all better stop playing with that boy Kendrick, man. He's too locked in and too ready for war right now. Everybody that's close to him has been teasing a possible second album that's coming. His man's top dog put out this message a couple of days ago saying, Dot is a dangerous man right now. Everything I thought he would be at 16 years old is here right now. Everybody stand down. I promise you. So at this point, you kind of get the feeling that Kendrick is just looking for one little thing that I, I I believe that I believe that Kendrick is is waiting in the wings and I'm gonna be honest with y'all I think he, he's waiting for a lot of people I think he got something and anybody that gets out of line anybody that steps in the way I'm telling y'all right now I'm telling y'all he is ready he's 100% ready he has nothing but time and he probably got records already ready for certain rappers, certain people, anybody get out of line. I'm telling y'all, he is at a stage. If you go back, I want y'all to do this. Go back and listen to his old freestyles. I'm talking about before he did, before he did Good Kid Mad City. Listen to how he's coming on those freestyles. And he's saying this in those records back then. Back then, Kendrick was saying that in those records. He was saying that in those records back then. You have to understand, he's been locked in and ready for a long time. I think that he said, I'm going to be a menace when I get to, get to where I'm at today. I'm going to be a menace. I'm going to be somebody that everybody's going to be afraid to touch me. And on top of that, I am trying to be the greatest of all time. I'm not playing no games with y'all. I'm trying to be the greatest. I'm telling you. And in order for you to be the greatest, you have to do things like this. You have to disrupt what's going on. You have to be the only man in the room. You have to walk in there and everybody stands down. They put their head down like the king is coming. Like, you have to be that guy that everybody's like, okay, yeah, that's that guy. That's what you got to be. And no other rapper is trying to do that. They're thinking that their record sales and, and whatever else can get them there. No, that's not how it works. This is hip-hop. This is sport. You got to win. You know what I'm saying? You got to beat everybody. It's going to set him off. Now, whether that comes from Drake or Wayne, it doesn't matter. At this point, Kendrick is looking for blood. Last night, Drake went on XQC's live stream, and it was very, very interesting. The stream was a little bit awkward. You can tell Drake and XQC have no chemistry. The entire thing was paid for by... I would say that. I watched the whole stream, and I'm telling y'all now... Drake is just doing stuff just to do it. And he and he's seen that Kendrick dropped the album and he's seen that the album's going crazy. And he's like, well, let me hurry up and do something. And I'm going to take this opportunity to announce some things because 
if I don't get ahead of this and I don't say nothing, I'm, I got to take at least a little bit of the attention off him. But Kendrick's smart, too. So what Kendrick do? When he did that, Kendrick dropped the video. That's what I'm telling y'all, man. Kendrick is already ready for everything. He's already ready. He's already, like, steps ahead of all these dudes, and they don't even realize it because they never played a game like this. A lot of them been given stuff all they like. They never played a game this way. Never. Nobody has ever came out and showed them this is how it is, especially this new generation. This new generation don't know nothing about how to conduct themselves when it comes to this type of situation. They don't know how to do it. And Drake, I would say, even though he's not from this generation, he moves like he's from this generation. And he's not a, he doesn't have the, the mind state of, of the streets. He may not have the mind state of blue collar or white collar crime or whatever or something of that sort. But outside of that, not blue collar, white collar, um, but something of that sort, he might have that. But you got to ask yourself, when Kendrick said to him, um, you 37 but still showing up like a seven-year-old, That's a, that, that bar is actually what it is with, with Drake. And this is why he does the things he do. He is a grown man, but he still lives in a teenager's body. Like, he's still petty about stuff. He can't get past certain things. He can't because he never, he never learned. I don't know if, it, if his parents or his mom or dad or whoever, they never taught him how to get past certain things. So he stays stuck. This is the reason why he does this with these women and why he constantly disrespects women or says things to women because when he was probably growing up, he probably couldn't get that many girls. Like he got, like he's getting now. You know what I'm saying? Not to say he's not a bad looking brother, because he's not a bad looking brother. You know what I mean? But um, he couldn't probably get a lot of women because it takes more than just looks to get women. And a lot of women, they really don't like guys of his caliber if they don't know how to uh, keep them intrigued, I would say. If you, uh, ladies, if, am I right about that? Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a dark skinned brother. Dark skinned niggas is back. I'm just going to say that. Dark skinned niggas. But I'm a dark skin brother, so I, I, don't, I don't really have that problem. You know what I'm saying? I just walk in the room, and uh, yeah, it goes down. <laughs> it goes down. It goes down. <laughs> it goes down, baby. I just got him with the smile. You know what I'm saying? Hey, big hug and booty squeeze. All that good stuff. Nah, I'm just joking. But anyway, <clears throat> this is what I mean. So there's no chemistry between these two dudes, and you can tell. Look, just look at him which is the gambling company that sponsors both of them. Now, during the live stream, Drake had a couple messages for his ops. Off the rip on his intro, Drake had a message for Kendrick. Here's what he said. I should give a little intro, like, um, I'm Drake. This is XQC, real streaming legend. Me, I do music, in case you didn't know. I'm here, as you can see, fully intact. Mind, body, and soul, in case you were wondering. Right? Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. You need facts to take me out. Fairy tales won't do it. But why? But here's my thing, right? Why does why does Drake why did Drake say that? Like, why does he say he's here, mind, body, and soul? And uh, just in case you didn't know, like, what are you saying? Nobody said nothing happened to you. Everybody just said you lost the battle, dog. You like like really going off the deep end, and you just lost the battle. I'll give my take on that at the end, but let's go. Cheers to everybody. Words to live by. Words to live by. Real talk. Cheers Chat. to everybody. Love. W's for everybody. Max is tonight. Anitas. We need Max winner. Now, Drake also said this while The weekend's music was playing. You have to switch this song off. <laughs> it's on a play, you know what I'm saying? You have to switch this one. Real. He can't... Look. Drake, Drake, man, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You'll never be the weekend, bro. You could say whatever you want. You could do all the tours you want. You can, You will never be that dude, bro. And that hurts his feelings. And even though people like academics said that the weekend and Drake doesn't have beefy, squashy beef, it just, just lets you know that a lot of these people who say certain things, they're be, they be lying. And on top of that, it also lets you know that if that is true, then Drake is passive aggressive. He's one of those people that tell you one thing and then does something totally different. That's the type of people you got to be real careful with. People that, that'll tell you something in your face and then behind your back, he'll do all this stuff just for clout or on screen or whatever. He did this right on a live stream. Now, if they were cool and they squashed whatever they did, why would you do that on a live stream? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it just it's disgusting to me to even see this type the real of behavior. sixers the real sixers the real real six side we don't listen to that you know you know this before nah uh. and finally he also said this when steve lace's music came on during the live stream this guy's like a fragile op but it's a good song though you know it's a fragile op okay interesting yeah, like a fragile op but it's a good song though it's like bro you calling this man a fragile op like I mean me personally I just don't see how like what 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 how is this guy a op I don't know he made a diss song on you oh that's right he probably went to the pop out so since he go anybody that goes to the pop out so everybody even in the fans in the stadium they are your ops too like come on bro this guy's a clown okay, so what does that mean a fragile op no chat knows what I'm talking about fragility Hey, bro, do not disrespect me and call me a fragile op, bro. You are tripping. What's wrong with you, my G? Now, if anybody is wondering why, yes, Steve Lacey popped out at Kendrick Lamar's pop-out show. Now, this morning, one of Kendrick Lamar's homie posted his response to the Drake livestream. Bro, you turned blood into a streamer on Phillies. Kendrick laughed about it, then his homie said, that's a damn shame. And this is where Kendrick Lamar does a little temperature check. He asks him, bro, is he tripping on there? His homie says, blood don't want no smoke, Philly gang. Now, as much as I love C- I don't, I'm just gonna put this out here. We don't know if this is actually Kendrick. Let's be clear here. We don't know if this is actually Kendrick. This could be someone who made this up and put this out. We don't know if this is actually Kendrick. Someone screenshotted this and put this out. This could be just a, a, a person who has the name Kendrick and then they made, they could have two phones. One phone says one thing on the, and then they, excuse me, and they go viral. That does, this does not mean this is Kendrick. You don't know if this is Kendrick. You just, they just speculating that this is him, but you don't know. Because you don't even know who the dude name is that's actually saying all this. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe you do know from maybe who put it out. I don't know. I just don't see. It's just not verifiable to me. So I got to see. But, you know, it, even with that, you still don't know if it's Kendrick or not. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar's live reaction to what's currently going on. I love it even more when we hear about it in the music. Please do not ruin the mystique of Kendrick Lamar by posting his response to things that are going on in social media. Part of what's making some of Kendrick Lamar's songs that he's been putting out dope is that we had no idea Kendrick knew about some of these topics. Lil Wayne's Super Bowl topic that he addressed, Andrew Schultz and the black women topic that he addressed. Those were all moments that people were surprised Kendrick actually knew about. So please- Now, I will say this. I mean, he got a, you got a point halfway. But at the same time, it doesn't even matter if he says so. Now, I, I agree with that, that maybe he should not say much. It, 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 if this is him, maybe he should not say much. But for me, I just don't, I'm not rolling with that. I just don't think that that was Kendrick. I don't think that that was Kendrick. I think that Kendrick Lamar is known for not really saying that. And if he's saying that he's tripping on there, like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he didn't watch the stream. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's funny, though. But let's keep it going. Please, no more live reactions from Kendrick. We want to hear the shit in the music. You guys get in the comments below. What do you guys make of Kendrick's response to Drake's live stream? Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. I should give a little. All right, so yeah, we're going to get out of here with that. All right, make sure y'all go subscribe. Yeah, man. I'm just saying, <clears throat> me personally, I think that, that, if that was Kendrick that responded, I just think that that makes Drake Eakman look even worse. Because he basically like, is he tripping on there? Is he tripping? Like, basically like, or he could be like, yeah, I hope he ain't tripping. Like, he didn't really know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I just don't think that that was Kendrick. I just think that, I think, I just think that that was somebody that maybe post something. Said it was Kendrick, and then they scratched some stuff out at the bottom of it. I just don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't think it was, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to go along with it if they saying that that was a response, you know what I mean? But he really didn't respond. He just asked, was he tripping? You know what I'm saying? But I just think that Kendrick is so unbothered about all this, about this whole battle. I think he's just, 
I think he's letting the music speak for itself. And a lot of artists can't do that. He's he is if, if you can't say Kendrick Lamar is the best rapper of all time right now, I just don't know what to tell you. I don't know what he has to do to prove that he is one of the greatest or is the greatest. I don't understand. I don't understand what he has to do. You know what I'm saying? He's dropping, he got that whole fandom engaged. Everybody is engaged with him. And you can't just say because he dissed Drake. It's much more than that. Because people are liking his music. They like him more his music now. And people are going back and listening to his old stuff. You can't just say this, come, this comes from him just dissing Drake. Nah, that's just not that. This is much more than that. Much more. So, I don't know. I think a lot of y'all are, are um, giving Drake too much credit and not giving Kendrick enough credit. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I think y'all all, all kind of sympathizers for that dude, uh, Drake. I really believe that y'all, a lot of y'all just sympathizers for him. But either way, man, thank y'all for being here with me. I'll see y'all in the morning, man. I'm out of here.